Right, I'll move my next blog, and this one is going to be about something I don't think I've ever talked about before, or very little on YouTube, and that is game consoles and computers, specifically computer games or game consoles. Now, I'm not a techie guy when it comes to game consoles and things like that. You know, I don't expect the game to have the highest graphics and whatever else, you know, when it comes to it being released. I know there'll be people out there who love their games and they want it to be high class, high tech games, but I'm not like that. And I don't buy game consoles anymore because I haven't bought one since I had the Sega Mega Drive. I know. It's showing my age when it goes back way back to um Sega Mega Drive. However, I can go even further back to say that my very first computer and games system that I ever had was a Wait for it, it should be a drum roll. Oop. My pen's going off everywhere. Basically, it is a Commodore 64. Now, I think I heard before that they could be worth a bit of money now. Because they're retro. They are. But that's what I used to like as a kid. When I was growing up, I used to love playing on the Commodore 64. In fact, I had that system... And I used to play on it until at least, probably the early 90s, I had it until then, when I used to play on it, basically. Um, sometimes I'd have my friends round, and we would basically play games on it. And I always had to get, and that was every time I got a games console, whether it was a Game Gear, Sega Mega Drive, or whether I had a Nintendo, or Commodore 64, or even, I guess, when I got a PC. I always had to get a football game because, as you know, I love football and I thought, you can't have a games console or a system without a football game, which I, do, which I did have many of them. My Commodore 64, I used to have some cracking football games on there that I loved. Uh, Manchester United in Europe, which I did use to, to um, basically what I used to do though, I used to change the players. Because I didn't always like the fact that it was Manchester United and I'm not a fan of that team. In fact, I used to do that on Sensible Soccer. A great game that used to be for the Sega Mega Drive. I used to love that game. And what I used to sometimes do is change the teams around. So I would be able to manually put my own, my own players in. And sometimes I was using my own friends. So people who know me from school. <coughs> your name sometimes used to be etched into my... Um, team that I used to have. I used to think of, my cousin used to manage a football team basically and I used his football team name sometimes and then what I used to do is put one or two of his play, players in that team alongside some of the people that I knew at school and I used to think what a great idea and I'd play with that team or I would literally use <coughs> and sometimes because I was going through the years, sometimes I got to that stage where I thought, well, I'm playing sensible soccer. Many years after it was first released, so what I could do is I could change the team into the current one. So if I was Nottingham Forest, I could say, I don't want that Nottingham Forest team. I'm going to change it into this Nottingham Forest team, which is a current one. Would you probably say five, six years after the original one? So where you're looking at, so it would be a team like. Um, if you looked at a team like Manchester United, you'd look at it and say, um, you've got like um, a certain goalkeeper on there. Now, I think, OK, I understand that, the goalkeeper on there. But when you look at the fact that you go through five, six years later, Manchester United don't have that goalkeeper anymore. And therefore, their new goalkeeper might be somebody else. So that's what you should do. But yeah, game consoles and um, particularly um, game systems, I'm not a big fan of anymore. I actually don't really buy them because I don't really play games as I used to. My mum bought a Wii many, many years ago. And we had to get a new one because our old one broke. And I used to go in there sometimes and play PDC World Championship Darts, which I loved. I was quite good at that, sadly. I say sadly because I'd like to have been able to play the same on that game as I could in real life darts, but I can't. I'm not bad at real life darts, but I just can't play as well as I could do on the old Wii. 
And I also sometimes go on the Wii Fit as well and do games on there and things like that. We used to play 10 pin bowling. But I don't go on the Wii anymore. Um, I would say that I'm not really a games man anymore. Um, I don't, I suppose, depending on if somebody said, if I was going around their house and they had a PlayStation or maybe an Xbox or a Wii and they had a game in there that I could play with them, then I might be tempted to say, yeah, I don't mind. Like, when I've been around my cousins and they've had like a Mario game or something like that where you can have like four players or five players. I've often played on it. Like, me and my mum will do it and my aunt and my cousin will play it and that's like all four of us playing this, um, basically game. But I don't really play games anymore. Um, I used to prefer the games way back in time, which is the old Commodore 64, because they had some great games like Rolling Rout, who's love that game, and Mike Reed's Pop Quiz and other things. The only problem with, with the old game systems like that was they took ages to load. Anybody who know anybody who knows this time would would be like, yeah. It was like you had to put a tape in and wait about five minutes for the game to load. It's not like now you can put a game on and you know within a minute or so you're already playing that game. But back then it was like five ten minutes and the game was loaded. And the worst one was where you had this wonderful compendium of games that they used to produce, like 100 games. Where you had all different types of games on there, which basically meant that you had like probably a quiz game on there, or you had a game like a shooting game, or it was like um, a tennis game on there, or it was like um, whatever. And you'd want to play a certain game. You knew there was a very good game on there, like say a snooker game, and you were like, well, I want, I want to play that game. However, you've got to, you've got to load up say 20 games in front so you would have to load up the helicopter game and the shooting game and the tennis game and the formula one racing game and the quiz game to get to that snooker game my god and that took ages you know if it took say two minutes to um you could say it took 20 minutes just to load up say a game until you get to the snooker one always the way and I pity the poor person who sat there and said, I want to play game number 100, where they've got to load nine, 99 games just to get to that 100 game. But I did used to like Commodore 64. In fact, the only games I would really play now would be on my mobile phone. I downloaded a darts game, which I don't mind playing, but I haven't played for for at least a month or so now, but I do like playing that on there. I did used to play a 10 pin bowling game on there, but when I found this darts game, I thought, yeah, that's going to be the game that I like to play. Which I'm quite good at as well, sadly. Again, just like the Wii, wishing I could play as well as I can on the darts games as I could on the real dartboard. But there you go, just thought I'd do a blog about games and consoles and that, because I don't think I've ever talked about them. And I have got rid of my game consoles now. I've still got my Commodore 64, but I've got rid of my Sega Mega Drive and I get rid of my Nintendo and that because they're no, they're no longer needed. I don't use them. So there you go. Anyway, until then, and other blogs to record, until then, bye for now.